Hi everyone. So I got a wild idea the other day that um, I wanted to put together another little small um, like vintage styled um, junky sort of journal. It's not really made with junk. Um, this one is just uh, regular copy paper, printer paper. And um, but I'm going to use some little pieces and bits of ephemera and papers and things that I have here. And I've collected so much of that stuff, I thought maybe I should just sit down and, and throw together a little, a little small journal. I don't have the foggiest idea <laughs> what I'm going to do in this journal. <laughs> but you know, that's kind of my style, so... <laughs> um, but it's kind of fun that way, too, because I don't have to spend uh, too much time really thinking and planning and and all that, um, because enough of that time went into picking out some papers and things and deciding just what things I would like to maybe use in it. So this part of the process is just the playtime, which is the most fun to me, and I hope to you. Um, as you see, I've already sewn this book together, and... Um, I did make a quick video to show you uh, what I did uh, at, when I was creating it. Uh, you know, normally I take the envelope and uh, I use the flap at the back and keep that open to tuck things into. Uh, this time I decided to uh, take a ruler. First I put in a piece of uh, a thick piece of chipboard inside the envelope and I decided to just take a ruler and lay it right along the seam of the envelope and I uh, just made a couple of slits, one on the front cover inside and one on the back cover inside and I thought that would be a cool little place to just tuck uh, a little tag or a little journaling card, something like that, just to kind of change it up just a little bit. And um, then I took uh, the printer paper like I showed you. I cut it uh, into four pieces, seven and a quarter inches by four and a half inches, and um, folded them in half, and then uh, secured the seams with some of the medical tape uh, just to stabilize it and help it to stay intact in the book a little bit better. I did leave the little strings hanging in the um, in the book. Uh, made the, I mean, I left them long in case I want to attach anything to those. I haven't decided yet, so I'm just going to leave them long. If I decide I don't want to use them, I'll snip them off short. Okay, so now, uh, like I said, the fun part uh, will begin here, which is basically decorating these pages. I'll probably go through and just do backgrounds on each page. And um, and then maybe I'll come back and add in a few things here and there. Um, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do in it, but I just really wanted to do it. And I have so many papers and bits that that's why I want to um, that's why I want to do this. 
I pulled out a bunch of little things. Um, I had created some um, some really cool little um, vintagey looking stickers, and these are from uh, some of my collage uh, work. And um, I'm going to use some of those. And uh, these are also from some painted papers that I had made and I reduced them in size and made little miniatures. So this, all those little black dots you see right here, that's text. <laughs> so they are really, really tiny because these are only a half inch by I think uh, three quarters of an inch, these little stickers. So anyway, I thought those would look kind of cute in a vintagey type of um, album. And then I've also got some um, of these little tabs that I punched. Um, and these are, you know, just your basic page tab, and you fold it in half, and um, you can attach it, you know, on the edge of a page so that you have a little tab there. So I thought maybe I'd use some of those. And um, these little mini file folders. I've got um, die cut and scored, so these are, these are going to be really cute to tuck maybe into one of these uh, pockets on the cover. We'll see. I've got some um, vintage dictionary paper, some vintage parchment uh, paper. This is very yellowed. Um, you can see how yellow it is compared to the, pa uh, the pages here, so that's kind of cool. Um, this is some uh, brown grid paper that I created. Uh, some book paper. A little page from a craft uh, note pad that's a nice sturdy craft paper. This is some uh, vintage uh, notebook paper, uh, paper from a notebook, I should say, um, that uh, has yellowed uh, with age. This is a piece of adhesive cork, which is really fun for making tags or punching or die cutting a shape from. More book paper, some vintage music paper, a piece of a napkin that I thought would be really pretty in a vintage book. A piece of tissue paper, burlap tissue, and another tissue that is also vintage looking. And then some guest checks. I, I pulled out some guest checks. I thought those would be cute in a vintage book. So all of this together, um, I thought I could take little bits and pieces from to put into this album. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it, but I think it'll be a fun uh, fun to, to play around with and figure out what I wanna do. Um, I really love this napkin, and you know, you might remember that I used this on the cover of a journal before. I used more of the napkin, but I thought um, with these leftovers I had, I could make a little piece, take, take some little pieces anyway, and um, and use, um, you know, just maybe put a block of color somewhere, maybe on the cover, uh, maybe on the on a tag. So I just have to decide uh, what I want to do. But I'm going to think about the cover for a little bit, and I'm going to move on into the the actual pages here. And um, let's see. I need to get my glue stick out for sure because I'm going to. I don't know. I might I might just use the tape runner. I kind of uh, kind of like using that. It's a little less messy. Um, let's see. Hmm. Which do I want? Maybe a little bit of the dictionary page. Let's, um, go tear it. Let's take it all the way down half. Let's see, maybe, um, maybe just a piece of it. Maybe we'll do a little bit of cluster type, build up some little clustery spaces. That's really cute. 
just having that yellow on the white. And that was the reason I didn't make these, use any uh, coffee stained papers in this, pages in this book, because I wanted all of these things to really stand out, you know, when they get, um, when they get placed down. I think that'll be neat. Okay, so I'm going to use a sticker and um, I'll take this one here and just um, stick it here. <laughs> That's very cute. Already. Okay. And I've got some washi tape. that bird the half that half a bird off of there there we go and then just put a little bit of that here not really thinking, just playing and enjoying and having fun. And then maybe I can come back here and I can write or add a photo or whatever. So we're just going to take these pages one at a time and just kind of go through and add a little bits here and there.
So for the next layer in um, my book, I'm going to add uh, possibly some uh, paper scraps. These are like, uh, well, they are scrapbook paper scraps. None of these are painted papers. And these are some circles and some little squares <clears throat> that I cut, or sorry, I punched from some of these same scraps. And um, I may add some of those in. I may add some stamping here and there. Uh, this is just pulling stuff from my stash to add in addition to the first layer that I've already added. As I was going through and uh, adding these little bits to these pages, it occurred to me that this would make a really cute little commonplace book where... Um, I will write down quotes and uh, song lyrics and ideas and just things that I want to remember. And this will give me a, a good place and a fun place to, when I come across a quote, to just pick it up and jot it down on a page. The artwork, of course, in a, in a commonplace book is completely optional. Doing little creative things like adding paper bits and washi tapes and, and, and paper scraps. All of that is just a personal preference. It's not necessary, but uh, I think it makes it a lot more fun. And on pages like, for instance, here, this is an easy place to write. Over here, not so much because there's writing there already. But I can always take an additional 
piece of paper that I've scribbled a, a little quote down on and I can attach it right on top and the background pieces will still show. So just keep that in mind uh, if you want to do a book, uh, a commonplace type book where you're writing a lot, but yet you want to also have the, uh, the creative aspect to it, which I really think is fun. So um, I'm just going to get started and just start adding little bits and uh, see, see where it goes and maybe decorate a tag or one of those little file folders or, or something to put in these little pockets and um, just see where it goes. I just think it's a lot of fun and I'm having a blast doing it.
as I uh, finished up and you know got to the back of the book, I realized there were some things that needed some uh, correction. For instance, my little feather here bled through the uh, page, and so I'm going to just put a little sticker label on top of that um, just to cover it up, and I'll still be able to write in that spot. So I'm just going to put this here. Like so. And no more feather. Well, you can see it a little, but once it's, there's some writing in there, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, <clears throat> I also added some little bits off camera, like I added a little bit of torn paper here just to cover up the straight edge that I had left at the bottom of this piece. And um, I'm going to just add a couple more things as I go through, maybe a couple more stamps and um, little bits. Here's another little label that I'm just going to put in here, so I can write in that. Um, <clears throat> I doodled a little, three little petals on the top and bottom of this little stamp that I had put on uh, previously. And I think I'm going to add this little <clears throat> receipt paper on this page. I wasn't going to put the whole thing, but maybe I will. It's just kind of cute. Um, turns sideways, but if I tear it down a little, I think I'll like it better. <laughs> I just think it's a little bit too big for the page. <clears throat> Even though it fits, it feels like it's a little bit big to me. So I'm just going to take a little bit off and um, just see how I like that. I do like it better just having that little bit uh, taken away. So I'm gonna put that there and then I'll be able to um, to write on that as well. There we go. I just like the way that looks. I think I'm gonna stamp here. a little stamp, uh, postage stamp here that I just got in, in some mail the other day and it was so uh, vintagey looking and it matched with some of the reds and pinks things that are on this page so I, I was like that's perfect. So I'm gonna, um, <coughs> I do want to outline this little um, cork piece. I'm gonna try to draw right on top. Yep, it lets me just uh, make sure it looks like it's standing out better on the page. And I'm also going to try a stamp on it too. <clears throat> Let's see how that looks. A little butterfly. Might be a moth, but Oh, that's so cute. Very cute. That looks much better now. Right, and let's see. Um, this one's pretty much done. This one, I was thinking I might like to put a little bit of... Um, stitching uh, with a stamp. So I'm going to see how that looks. Okay, let's try this. I better put, uh, put my paper under here so I don't stamp all over everything.
Mm, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna do that down here. Also, That's very cute. Nice little border. I took that piece of um, napkin that I showed you earlier in the video 
and I put it, uh, I actually glued it with a glue stick onto a piece of regular printer paper. And I did that to keep the color nice and vibrant because I really love uh, this image from this napkin. So uh, once I had it glued on, I uh, folded it in half, just folded the paper in half. And then I die cut uh, using a little die that I have that's a scallop. So I die cut it there and then I uh, opened it back up and cut it in half. And what I'd like to do is put this on the front and the back of my cover. After I got the napkin pieces on, I also found a piece of this um, gingham fabric that I had coffee stained. And it was just about the right size. It was a little bit long, uh, but I trimmed off this piece and I just glued that on to the um, spine of the book. I love it because it blends in so well with the colors on the uh, napkin. And I also doodled around the uh, scalloped edge there just to kind of help to bring that out a little bit so that it can be seen. And I decided on a simple closure for this little journal. Uh, this is just a gold binder clip. And I added a little bit of washi tape on each side and also on the end a little skinny strip of that uh, measuring tape uh, measuring tape washi tape <laughs> and um, so it fit on there just perfectly and I love the way it matched and so I'm just going to use that for a simple little closure and I wanted to show you uh, what I had done on the inside just a little bit I had uh, added um, <clears throat> I had this little tag uh, that I, this is a little white shipping tag, and I added a piece of that um, uh, tissue paper, this one, and I just glued it on with a glue stick, and then I distressed it and went around the edges, and then I added a vintage postage stamp. So I just love how that turned out, and there's room on the back to, um, to write. Then uh, the little file folder I made, I just added a bit to the uh, front, just a little vintage image and the word chronicles. And then this little uh, piece is uh, just a piece of white card stock that I just striped with washi tape. Just went all the way down with washi, trimmed it off, and rounded the corners. And uh, then edged it with my... Um, a Faber-Castell pit pen in brown and I loved how it turned out and then I found this little image I believe this is one of the Tim Holtz uh, ephemera pieces that's in one of his kits I, I believe that's correct and um, I just love how it um, blended it matched so well I just <laughs> I couldn't believe how how cool that looked so I added the bird and I add the, added this little bit of uh, Baker's twine and tied it there on the corner. And then on the back, I had written out a little quote on a piece of this paper that I started out with, one, uh, the little uh, vintage note paper. And uh, so I had just written out a little quote and um, the back of this white cardstock, I used a piece of this wide uh, washi tape and I just covered it and trimmed it, did the same thing, you know, edged around it and um, and just stuck my quote on. So I just love how that one little card turned out. It's so perfect, um, especially color-wise on the front. I love how that, how that turned out. So these little guys are just being tucked in the front of my journal. And uh, I've added a couple of little bits. These are just little scrap pieces of washi tape. So I just decided to stick them in uh, the book because why not, right? <laughs> And um, I, uh, I added a little doodling here under the um, quote by Mr. Rogers. I added uh, three little vintage buttons, which I love. Uh, I think that looks so awesome there on, that, on the corner of that page. Um, I haven't done a whole lot on the inside of the book. I was busy making some tags and things. Oh, I did, um, I did uh, put a piece of washi tape here along the... Uh, edge there. I think that looks really nice with the other black bits that are on this these two pages. So I did that. Let's see. Um, I added this. I don't know if I mentioned already, but I added a um, postage stamp here. I need to um, put a little bit of this um, 
distress ink around that stamp. It's a little too white. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that tone down. There we go. Now that looks more vintagey, like it belongs there. <laughs> I like that a lot better. Okay. So that was added, and don't think I did anything else here to these pages. Um, yep, I think that was about it. And uh, oh, and I added bits, some bits to my little tag. Um, just so much fun. T took a piece of cardstock, added some dictionary paper, added a piece of a doily, the butterfly with some strings underneath, glued all that down together. Then I came back and added a little piece of washi tape here and some stamping along this, uh, this side here. And I just love, oh, and I did stamp a little leafy branch there. I just love how that turned out. And it all started with just a piece of scrapbook paper. So, good way to use those bits that you have uh, left over sitting in piles here and there. <laughs> so that's my little commonplace uh, journal. I love it so much. I can't wait to continue using it and continue adding little bits and pieces of things, um, you know, and ideas and quotes and just things that pop into my head or that I come across that I want to remember. I'll be able to jot them down in this little book. And um, if you guys make one of these, you know, you can add as many pages, as many or as few pages as you want. Um, I just chose to do four because uh, that way I end up with 16 sides uh, when you count each side of the page. I ended up with 16 sides, and that was pretty good for me. Um, for a journal this size, I think it, it ends up being pretty full. And as I continue adding, um, you know, little bits and pieces and things, it's going to get a little chunkier, but it won't be overpoweringly chunky. So I like that a lot. So I wanted to let you know if you are interested in making one of these with some of the same items that I have used, um, not all of the items, but some of the same items, uh, I do have some kits that I'm going to be putting in my Etsy store. Um, I'm not going to go through every little piece because I pretty much covered that at the beginning of the video, but um, it will include uh, this vintage uh, style envelope. I really love these envelopes. They're already patterned and um, just look so awesome. But uh, the kit will include this envelope and um, all of these bits. Let me move some of this to the back here out of the way. There we go. Um, a bunch of little bits and um, pieces, uh, the stickers and things I showed you, uh, the little tabs. I got a little bit extra there, it shouldn't be there. Um, and the little file folder die cuts, uh, some of those little white shipping tags that you can decorate. I mean, all of those papers that I showed you at the beginning, um, including uh, two napkin pieces, this one and this one and then the tissue papers. So um, that's gonna be included as well as um, some, uh, just some little bits. Uh, there's some little wooden beads, uh, some vintage buttons like the ones you saw on the corner of my page and one of those gold um, binder clips that you can decorate with some washi tape or with some scrapbook papers, you know, whatever you choose to decorate it with. Thanks to everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me start out not knowing what I was going to do and then realizing while I was in the middle of creating it that it would make a great uh, commonplace book. I hope that you will want to make one too and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.